everyone, my name is Kule Mulebazi. I'm currently a content producer and a presenter for SABC News Current Affairs programs. I am also an actress for television and theatre. I'm also a social activist, but most importantly, I'm an ex vc so I am indeed a VITS graduate. The first role I've played was a character called Buleng on Squeezers. That was actually my first acting job on TV series one. I was playing Buleng Mulebati, my name and surname, uh, alongside Leon Dube and Mamiri Toala um, and Tulumune Edi. So for me, I really enjoyed playing that character. It was exciting. Mama, I Want the Black That You Are is a play that is solely to create um, awareness around albinism. Uh, so, you know, for the longest time, South Africa was not speaking about the killings of people with albinism within the African continent. Then it happened to South Africa here in, in Whitbank, where a young girl who was 13 years old was abducted and then was later found killed and, and um, some of her body parts were missing for the longest time. Then South Africa started talking about how some people, some countries within the African continent have people with albinism be murdered, like a lot of people. So the numbers were rising, but we're not speaking. But since last year, we've been talking about that. So the, the character that I'm playing right now here at the Market Theatre is Matlakala. She's a 15-year-old who is growing up in the most ruralist of places in the African continent. Um, and she is growing, she's growing under an abusive home and a father who is seeing her as an opportunity to make money of her. You know, I always say, we can sit and complain and say, ah, you guys are not portraying us the right way. Or, yeah, you guys don't understand what albinism is. But what are we doing as the albinism community about the condition? So I think each and every one of the person, as a person with albinism, we need to stand up and voice our own view of how we want to be portrayed. So we need to give a voice to how to best advocate for albinism. So I'm really grateful and also blessed that I get to sit and, and talk about albinism and teach about albinism in the most confident way and it's not in an achim way. Uh, right now I'm confident, I'm, I'm authoritative and when you look at me it's not the view, no, please, we're good, <laughs> you know, we are empowered, we're smart, we're educated. So the advice I would give women with albinism or even just a little girl but i think also boys need us i mean remember there's these young boys that still don't know oh do i be bold do i be you know oh, do i just hide in a corner no you can't hide in a corner god didn't intend for you to hide in a corner that's why you're the lightest of them all so that even if you try people will be like hey we are we are watching you come back so embrace it it's you there is absolutely nothing wrong with who you are don't be scared don't be shy go out there slay the world <laughs>